had I not continued working and had I just been at home, I would have been a horrible mother because I would have been angry. Being married doesn't mean you're shutting down your life. It's buy one, get one free, <laughs> you know. So the husbands have to be supportive and they have been. Uh, when we were opening the shop, both our husbands were, were with us till midnight, you know, seeing to the setup and all. And um, I think they, they are also very happy and I'm sure proud also that we've been able to do this. So I ended up doing my PhD in cancer biology. Uh, not uh, for any particular reason other than it, it absolutely fascinated me, the, the process itself. I feel one has to do something worthwhile, give back to society. So one of my, I didn't know what I wanted to do in life, but what I, what I did know was I wanted to do something that would serve some way, serve humankind some way, you know. What else is there in life? I mean, didn't see any other purpose, you know. That is the beauty of entrepreneurship. I think that affords you uh, the flexibility of working from your own home, if you choose to do so, uh, not being answerable to another boss. <laughs> but, uh, and if you do uh, choose to do a career which uh, entails work out of the house, fair and good. As long as you're creating value, uh, as long as you're contributing to the society, I think it's important to pursue your dreams in whatever fashion is possible. Is it some days, it's a couple of days in the week, is it a couple of days in the month? You define the moment when it's it's an everyday struggle, balancing your home life. It's like in the middle of, of your child's homework, you've got a call you just have to take. And in the middle of an extremely important meeting, your kid calls you to ask you, um, uh, Mama, you know, uh, you know what I got in my, in my maths test today? And you actually have to pretend like there's not 20 people around you in the middle of that meeting and give him that attention that he needs because he wants to celebrate. I'm surrounded by pregnant women and they work until you're ready to go to the delivery room, literally. I mean, many times I've had, um, you know, colleagues who didn't come up the next day and they said, oh, where, they are? where are they? They said, oh, they went into labor in the evening. They're actually in, in the hospital. <laughs> so that happens a lot. For every human being, man or woman, to be financially independent, regardless of how you do it. Whether you are in the service industry, whether you are in the service industry, you must earn your money because it gives you a right to make certain decisions. A lot of working mothers I know who come home at 7 or 6, it's after that, it's like, you know how involved you are. You can be a mother who doesn't work and yet not have time for your children. So, 